Toronto, Canada's main stock index moved higher, helped by strength in the industrials and materials sectors as the loonie took a hit amid U.S. The S&P TSX Composite Index was up 55.55 points to 16,258.24 after 90 minutes of trading President Donald Trump's trade complaints. In New York, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was down 8.76 points to 25,307.77. The S&P 500 Index was up 2.74 points to 2,781.77 and the Nasdaq Composite Index was up 6.24 points to 7,651.75. The Canadian dollar was trading at 76.90 cents U.S., down from Friday's average value of 77.15 cents U.S. after Trump continued his attacks on Canada and Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Trump complained on Sunday that he had been blindsided by Trudeau's criticism of his tariff threats at a summit-ending news conference. In tweets, Trump insulted Trudeau as dishonest and weak. Other Trump advisers also attacked Trudeau in appearances on Sunday. Trump trade advisor Peter Navarro said in an interview with Fox News on Sunday that there's a special place in hell for any foreign leader that engages in bad faith diplomacy with President Donald J. Trump and then tries to stab him in the back on the way out the door, Sean Osborne, chief FX strategist at Scotiabank, said the market's reaction to sell the Canadian dollar following Trump's latest tweets reflected belief that a NAFTA deal is further away now. The whole tone of the bilateral rhetoric between Canada and the U.S. seems to have deteriorated quite significantly, he said. The July crude contract was down 2 cents to 65 U.S. dollars and 72 cents per barrel and the July natural gas contract was up 5 cents to 2 U.S. dollars and 94 cents per MMBTU. The August gold contract was up 2 U.S. dollars and 20 cents to 1,304 U.S. dollars and 90 cents an ounce and the July copper contract was down 4 cents to 3 U.S. dollars and 26 cents a pound.